I'd like to hear from Amashala. Amashala, are you there, sir? I'm here and I just watch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, I'd like you to talk. Uh, to you don't regard. And I still be bored. Hey, I would never regard. <laughs> <laughs> you know? After Amashala, I'm going to give us a money before Oga, Oga CM. But yeah. I, 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 I thought people in Nigeria have uh, a, a preferential treatment. Hey, I thought I should be giving that. Uh, okay, I beg, I beg, I beg. There is no electricity, there is no fuel, and you uh, so you no, look into that. Alex, Alex, so so yes. on, so on, I still there for darkness. Of course, uh, yeah. Some of us are, are, are a little bit privileged, but I, 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 I adjure you guys to temper justice with mercy, <laughs> so that I will not be the last, because my generator will run up in the wire. Based on this, many, many uh, pleads, can I let him talk? And after him, I, I continue. Okay. I okay. to dance his let, let me tell Alex. Yes. Yeah, yes, I'm listening. Food to put into the toilet. <laughs> Thank you. That's the Makaba dance. The Makaba Arari dance. No, let Thank me say you. this. Uh, Mr. Alex, if I like say this Tinubu regime don't attack on a small, not be small. Yes, it's just a, it's just a creek and crank on that we are trying to deal with. It's not easy, my brother. It's not, it's not easy. I want to. Talk to us. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the for the flowery sentences. I'm uh, I'm I'm overgasted and flabbergasted at uh, at the way you people are reacting at my emergence on the platform today. I feel humbled and I continue to remain loyal to the cause of a new country or a splitted country into different nations for a better, you know, um, human existence. Uh, I just want you to know that uh, history is the greatest cause of education. You can never write away history. You can't take away history from anything you are doing in life. Even in medicine, there's what we call medical history. There is political history. So there, there's academic history. There is health history, agricultural history, bilateral history. What is bringing America close to Israel today against six or seven countries in the, in the Middle East is history. So uh, I want to remember a political colossus, historical colossus. He came back in Newi, uh, Mr. Juku himself, a man that had Nigeria for good three years on a standstill because of history. So history, when the lady that spoke before the lady who just spoke, was speaking, I was really, I didn't want to come on board. That took me to my political library and I had to hypothesize. I mean, I, I made up my mind to deposit the, let's continue to intimate, intimate ourselves. Let's continue to conscientize ourselves, continue to sensitize ourselves because history has a way of repeating itself. So um, there is musical history with Fela and Nicola Bokuti, with Sonio Kosu, which were Nigeria. And um, th there is activism history too. You know, Mommy Fumi, uh, Mommy Ransom, Fumi Layo, Kuti, a lot of people. And um, it's, we are still at the same bandwagon that Nigeria is a fraud. Tell your children Nigeria does not exist. Where a man from the East contested elections, obviously he was cheated, and we all know he won if the beavers was not switched off, if uh, elections results are not conceded. If um, people are not playing anki paki political double decker game, we know the the winner of these elections. So we cannot take away history. Write off history to your own peri. So for me, I just feel that um, uh, people are beginning to know. Tell the, the the pregnant woman to tell her unborn child, a fetus in, inside a womb, that Nigeria is a scam. It does not exist. We must come to history now. What is history? And what are the branches of history? There are three branches of history. There is the oral tradition. There is the written record. And there is the archaeology, the neoclassical studies. 
Some of you know better than me, but from the little I know, I know that history is the preservation of records from generation to generation. Either by storytelling, which is the oral tradition, or by written record, which is writing and, and, and keeping books, or by archaeology, which is excavating things from the soil and explaining what happened on that area. So we thought it's going on just now, or to could say all these things and call for a meeting. And we cannot live together. Like, like that lady, you know, um, uh, uh, put it rightly, that oil and water cannot miss. We are not one. And, and I'm very happy all of you are coming to the realization of uh, some of our political postulations for donkey days now, for donkey years now. It's, I mean, it's, it's very obvious to everybody that the country is so divided, ideologically divided, tribally divided. In terms of religion, is divided. Regionally, is divided. There is no sense of humanity amongst us. A set of people just feel it's their turn, it's always their turn, it's always... This is the business that they dealt with our great-grandfathers in the 70s, in the 60s, in the 50s, our grandfathers in the same period, and our fathers, and now they pass it to us. What are we going to do? We must look at it historically. History is very powerful. History was what made one man hold Nigeria hostage for almost three years. The power of history. Juku was a first class graduate of history. The first graduate to grace the Nigerian military. Go on verify. He did not just go into a full outright war. He called all the leaders of thought. His students are very diplomatic. They are very sensitive. They are very dem democratic. They are very, I mean, they see into the future. So all the election rigging, the malversation, everything we are having, or you could saw it. And call all these people and say, let us, let us have uh, countries. Let's live together as neighbors. And along the line, people agreed, but uh, there was a saboteur. And the rest is history, they say. And now what is said in 1967 to 1970 is telling at us today again. So brothers and sisters, Supreme Court or no Supreme Court, the country is a fraud. Historically, we were living as different kingdoms, different empires. We must hold to that. The so-called white people, they came as explorers, as missionaries. We, we were so hospitable. We gave them entrance without visa, without re resident permit, without invitation letter, without you know, citizenship, not knowing that they took advantage of it and invaded us, brought us together by force, Kingdoms were looted. Now they are returning looted artifacts. Those are historical artifacts. Yeah, it's, it, it's, not, it's not just Nigeria. It's across the globe. The king of Holland came out about four months ago. That they are sorry for the role Holland, the royal family played in the transatlantic trans slave trade. It's all wrapped up in history. You must think about the oil empire, the Benin empire. You must think about the city states. That is where we're going to start from. We cannot run away from it. Call it Osko at your own peri. This is what the, the Northern Caliphate, they don't want to hear. Because the oil of, of, the, of, of, of the debtors has become, you know, only in their mouth. They want to continue to masturbate themselves in the corridors of power to the detriment of millions of Nigerians. So historically, we are, what you call Dubai today was a desert. Today, I mean, it's San Eldorado. Go to their history. You will see what is holding them strong. History is the foundation. Teach your children that we don't have a country. Your passport is a mirage. Your, your, your Nigerian green passport is a fraud. You are seeing how your currency is going down the drain. In 2023, we are still discussing security. We are still discussing first set only go. That's the tribe. We are still discussing uh, 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 electricity. We are still discussing education. We are still when 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 countries are are working on you know you know you know uh, speed trains, technology, and so on and so forth. So we don't have history. Nigeria doesn't have history, but the people in Nigeria have history. We must go back to history. The only thing that put people on their feet to fight for their land is a sense of history. Let's teach our children that we are not one. I'm not an Osama. I don't know, I, I don't speak that language. I'm not a full animal. I'm with respect to those people who are from there. I'm not, I know myself. You must know yourself. Let's, let's try to tell these people, since you will not allow our votes to count, we, we are going away. I can't live in a nation where my own daughters, we get married tomorrow and their children will be raped. 
or my grandchildren will be kidnapped. My own children will go through the same thing I went through, though I survived it. I say, Kabul to the detriment after that. So the only way we can do this is to revisit history. Ojuku opened books. O Ojuku quoted the Kanuri Empire. He quoted the Igbo city states. He quoted the old Bini Empire. He quoted, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the Oyo Empire. He quoted how we can exist. He even quoted three, he cited Sweden, Denmark, Norway, how they were all, all ones, one country. And they live together now as neighbors. We can exist. Those that want to be given their children of seven years old daughter in marriage, according to their culture and religion, should go on their own. Those that don't believe in education and uh, transparency and integrity and development should go on their own. Those that don't believe in speed trains and metro lines and and, and development and you know and uh, you know you know passing wet to the next generation, they should go on their own. It's a very easy thing. So we can fend off the international influence on it. France and England and the European Union. Before we deal with those guys, we have to deal with ourselves. We must sit down and tell ourselves the truth that we are not Nigeria. Nobody is, is more human than any human in this in this so-called country called Nigeria. So it, it does not exist. I thank that lady that spoke. It's what brought me out to just garnish it more so that our children, why do you think they remove history from our curriculum about four, four to eight years ago? Due to public outcry, it was brought back. Why? And where do you where do you think that came from? Of course, from 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 Buckingham Palace and from uh, and from Paris. But because we have dumb scores, psychophants like military men who were who were who 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 came into democracy, who didn't know the meaning of history, they succumb because they didn't know they were carried away with with the loans that loans that come from Paris Club, IMF, and World Bank, and they start to dictate to them systematically how to dismantle history from our country so that our children will not know anything about themselves. Look at our young people today. Go to the internet. All they do is they strip themselves naked. They do all sorts of videos, stupid videos, senseless videos, because there's no sense of history. They just live like animals. They don't even know what they're doing. How many countries you see their children doing that? Have you seen Koreans doing that? Or have you seen Taiwanese doing that? Chinese doing that? Because there is history. History is being preserved. It's been passed. Do, do we have a national museum? If we do, what do we have there? So there is no country. There is no law. There is no. This is the only country on the planet that two laws are working for the same people. You have the Sharia law and, and, and you have the Nigerian law. So who is not fooling who? Guys, history is powerful. History is playing that again. History is repeating itself. We must know that the country was built on falsehood historically. Ojuku saw it, he fought it, he, I mean, he tackled it, yet he was almost destroying it. Thank God for where we are today. So we all can see it now. Before they took away history from our school, a lot of us already ran away with this message that historically we are not one. This is why you have anybody who, who win elections will flood all the juicy positions in authority with this tribal man. Buari did it. I mean, uh, 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 now uh, Tinubu is doing it. So Supreme Court, whether you do anything, uh, whether you pass a judgment the right way or not, history will repeat itself again. Something similar to the Abba Women riot is going to happen again. Something similar to the uh, to the Biafran civil war will still happen again. It will not be Biafra this time. It will be Nigeria Fra. Because the people fra, the people want to live. They want to survive. They want to breathe. They, they, they want to live as human beings. Nigerians are, are just existing, walking cops, zombies, because of the, I mean, historical mistakes that has been made, complicated by our leaders, you know, intensified by international community who are deceiving themselves with the so-called United Nations. If I have my way to address that body called the United Nations, I will let them know how disunited is the United Nations historically. How can one side be so poor and one side is fatally rich? So uh, for me, they get their raw materials for their big companies abroad from, from this country, Nigeria, and other poorer countries. And they would never want this country to know their history and stand up on their feet. The day Nigeria stands up, third world countries are going to be liberated. So history is what we must look at. The history of Nigeria. How did we become Nigeria? Before 1914, where were we? Who are we? Why do we speak different language? Why do we dress differently? And why are we you know, having different culture? 
And why are we one? Are we really one? Who brought us together? And why can't an evil man win elections? Now is Obi today. Tomorrow it could be Nosakari from, from, from a dust state. It could be one name from somewhere. So, guys, have it in mind. The country is a fraud. The country is a, is a business cartel. And, and the country at some point will face history. Because what Oduku did, it, it will happen again. Because history has a way of repeating itself. And Najawash, I thank you very much. I thank all my panelists and uh, my viewers worldwide. And of course, those on the comment section, thank you very much. Pass it to your generations. Tell your great-grandfather or the, your, your grandfather who is alive. Tell your newly born. Tell your young people. Let us continue to teach people history. That this country was built on falsehood. 1940 amalgamation has expired. It was even written there that if we cannot live together, we can go our ways after 100 years, which expired in 2014. Good luck all to activate the dark laws. But it succumbed to the whims and caprices of, uh, uh, you know, the Northern Kaba. So we will take matters into our, our hands. We are just waiting for the right time to, to do the right thing. Because hunger has brought us together. Hunger has given us a sense of history. Hunger and insecurity has told us that indeed we, we are not one. Thank you, Mr. Najawash. Anyway, um, I will support that. Before I don't, but I'm beginning to support that now that we are not one. We are not one uh, because the way it's going on right now, it looks like every people, everybody is fighting for themselves, especially when we look at the ethnic uh, background, everybody fighting for themselves. It's very, very sad. You know, I don't know how Nigeria can work. I just hope, I just, I don't know. I don't just know. I'm tired, man. Nigeria issue is stressful. You know, it's very, very stressful. Ah, what a country. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Alex, for your wonderful submission. Thank you for always saying it. Hi, Riz, my brother. Okay, let me come to Amashola uh, this time uh, before we go to uh, give us a mandate. Amashola, uh, thank you very much, sir. Talk to us. Hey, that word. Have you not heard that word? Don't you, eh? know Nigeria is not, don't you know Nigeria is not for us? My brother... And then get her. Well, we have refused to leave it. We have refused to leave Nigeria for them. And that's why they're doing all this jamboree. Go to court because they bought the court. It's a pity to Supreme Court. Uh, and, my, uh, and my brother, just to just to um, uh, tell you that too, that Jory Buari regime, our people from the start, our brothers, the politicians from the West, the Yoruba's uh, leaders, they were clamoring for restructuring, 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 divide a country or review, review the confab of uh, 2014, uh, Jonathan Goodluck. But now, the restructuring has vanished from uh, Wale Shoenka mouth. It has vanished from all the Western government's mouth. It has vanished from all the leaders of thought in that zone. How can we be so shameless? Where is the restructuring slogan now that the Westerners were crying for on that Bwari regime due to the invasion of the Fulani Esme? And the kidnapping and the raping of women that took place massively on that worry in that area. Thank you. Um, the, they should continue. It, it, it is the north and the south, Aosa and Yoruba. They are, in a, they are the owner of Nigeria. A evil man is not. A evil man is not considered. Good luck that run as president is just the fact that he was the vice president, and nature just to make push things towards him. If not, there will no way anybody from the east or south from that region will ever be president. Now, the opportunity has come now. Over where many people have voted to be, and because it's to be now, you are doing all this magic. Now, they are confessing that uh, they, are, they are confessing. The INEC uh, chairman is confessing. He's talking. It should not give us a written statement. Come to video and say it. If you know you have the guts, come to the video, do a video, and then if it's five minutes video, and tell us that yes, that election was rigged. Because anybody can use your hand to write and say it was it was rigged. Come do a video. Yesterday, uh, I think it's a rep from one state that was removed from seat because of. Certificate for G. This is not last month. This is some few days ago. So Supreme Court, please, I would like us to you prove it to us that 
Tinubu is a special being. Because if a corpse can sack a rape just of certificate forgery, and then you have a president with the same story, and now you are saying you have two conflicting documents. There's no conflicting document anywhere. Fake is fake. The man that has not gone to school, he's saying he went to the school. Transcript is, is not your own. Certificate is not your own. This full story now is did even go there. And then most of you there in the Supreme Court are elderly people that should that should back the truth. And they are talking back and forth, trying to twist the judgment that is clear to everybody. Even someone that didn't study law will read those documents and understand every single thing that was there. So I do not understand your back and front story people are saying. And then it's obvious that you prefer dollar than Nigeria. Somebody's already is it's not even alleged. Somebody is sick right now. We don't know that it's God that's dealing with him. Maybe you all you all join when you start saying the wrong things. The fact that Nigeria are not protesting, people are not protesting and uh, disturbing the peace of the country does not mean they don't know what they, what is right. You can't be a judge. None, none of those judges are less than 60 years. So at 60 years old, you can't tell me you don't know what is right and what is wrong. If you if you claim that Tinubu won the election and you cannot remove him as the president because of false certificate, that means you are telling us that your children to have false certificates. You are encouraging them to false certificates now to do anything. And then it's going to affect the entire country. The Asare Dukubo is a sponsored uh, government agent. Is he is one um propaganda agent of the presidency. So we got looking at that video, I felt like just I could just be there, just beating all those useless boys. These people that they are hungry. How much would they give them? They can't as they are, they can't buy a bag of they can't buy a bag of rice, each of them. Not like I can buy a bag of rice. And then they are jumping and dancing and singing. And see a Nigerian youth. Is that is that the normal of Nigerian youth? If you call Nigerian youth, they are yes, they are supporting you. That crash should be more than that. Not you pay people to come and protest in front of a uh, Supreme Court that they want you. It's just shameful that you have a president that, that does not have shame, no integrity. Your life is all about corruption from beginning to the end. I don't know whether this plan that God that gave it to you was even corrupt. Because I can't understand somebody who just be no no heck, no secondary school, no BS, nothing. Everything is fake. I don't, I would maybe be at that time. You, if, maybe if you buy night, it's fixed. I think you still give you. I don't understand you. You don't need to be bribing people and giving the judges money and spending money up another your place. The truth is the truth. If the Supreme Court decides to say, yes, so you uphold your election and you are still the president, to you, you be the president. Equas, Equas is already saying you, 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 should, you should come and explain yourself. I don't know if you've gone there. Are you still their president? President of the Equas countries. Are you still their president? If you're not ashamed, it's your face certificate, you're still going to preside uh, meetings with them. You're just disgracing Nigerians in more. You just pray. My, my own now is, I'm not, I'm not as, as, as I, to me now, I'm not saying whether the judges would um, announce the writing or not. Now it's just every, to me. Now it's sit down look. I'm looking at. I just watch. Let me let me stop at this point. Let's move to continue. Thank you. Mashallah. Thank you very much, my brother. I appreciate you.